Well, hello, and thank you for joining us for our Smart Buyer Alert webinar, uh, covering the five important steps to buying the property you want. I'm Jeremy Wilstein, the young guy. And I'm Ed Knapp, the old guy. And we're here in Park City where the snow is falling. It's on the ground right now. Yep, it's looking good outside. So we're going to update everybody with the resorts in which have opened up. Let's look at the list, Jeremy. All right, so we have Alta, Bridehead, Brighton, Canyons, Park City Mountain Resort, Snow Basin, Snowbird, and Solitude are all opening. We're just waiting on Beaver Mountain. Yep. Deer Valley's coming up here in the next couple days. Yep. Eagle Point, Powder Mountain, Sundance, and Wolf Mountain. So soon all the resorts will be open and ready to go. Here we go. And there's a picture of my wife, I think, finishing a beautiful jump there. Oh, yeah, that is your wife. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Hi, honey. <laughs> all right, so jumping right into it. Uh, our first step is shop online or in person. NAR, National Association of Realtors, showing that 94% of buyers go to the internet first. And right here, if you go to this website, we can help you set up a search parameter so that you can constantly be getting a stream of the most recent properties available to buy. Yeah, as soon as they hit the market. So this is a good way to keep track of new inventory coming on the market and you'll get an email alert when a property matches your criteria and what you're looking for. And you get it almost instantly as soon as it's listed with the multiple listing service, Jeremy. Mm -hmm. And this will help you recognize which properties um, are coming on the market, how much they're being listed for, and then also how fast they're going off the market, i.e. they're selling or going under contract. It really helps you get in tune with the neighborhoods and different trends so you become a more informed buyer. Oftentimes, Jeremy, I have my buyers calling me up off of those notifications, asking me questions about the property and or the neighborhood. Yeah. And they're the first in line a lot of times. Yeah, so it's a good way to be proactive. We're here to search out properties, find them for you. Um, just gets another set of eyes on it. And if you need any help getting on that website, don't be afraid to email us or just call us too. Yeah. At the number listed on the bottom of the page there. All right, so uh, the second step is what we're gonna cover is the comparable market analysis oftentimes referred to as a CNA, CMA, excuse me. What this represents is true sold data. Utah is a non-disclosure state uh, and the sales prices are not recorded with the uh, county. So those of you that are living in other areas such as California, uh, Nevada, perhaps Florida, Michigan, Texas, and all the other states, uh, they each have their own methodology for reporting sale pricing. But here in Utah, it is a non-disclosure state, so you have to find out through other means on what the actual properties sold for. Mm -hmm. And our MLS system takes care of sold data. On the public side, you can see which properties are listed. On the private side or the realtor side, that's where we have the data of sales price going back to the history of our MLS. And that's really the important factor when determining where you should offer, what a property is worth. Um, this, this information is very vital to not overpaying for a property. And one of the things we like to do is what's called a total market overview. So we don't want to look just at the complex that you might be interested in or the neighborhood of homes that you're looking in, but rather what other competition might be in the area that you might want to be interested in. Mm -hmm. So we try not to just look at a specific area, but rather in total the whole Park City market to get you the best deal at the best price we can. Yeah, and oftentimes we use that total market overview if there hasn't been a specific sale in the same complex we can look at comparable properties similar to what appraisal appraisers do and remember you can use our website all the time to figure out what's on the market currently and make those determinations along with us yeah and if you, you. yeah and if you want to shoot us a note about what sales have been like in the last six twelve months in a complex or in an area a neighborhood you're interested in we'd be more than happy to send that information over you to help you determine the fair market value exactly all right, so number three, we're gonna talk about absorption rate. Um, absorption rate really means how fast are properties selling. If you have a neighborhood that has six, month, six months of inventory left, then if no other properties come on the market within six months, everything will be sold out. There'll be nothing left to buy. So that's what absorption rate means. And let's talk about it in a historic context. About three years ago, here in Park City, Jeremy, we had about a 30-month absorption rate, so it would have taken about two and a half years for us to sell out the existing inventory. To show you the health of the market, uh, our current statistics are telling us that it's currently at about six months absorption rate. 
Now, why, why is this an important factor to take into a, in account? Well, when we're looking at absorption rate, we want to understand you know, what the competition is going to be offering on properties and how fast properties are going to be selling. Mm -hmm. So if, you, if we look at an absorption rate, 30, month, 30 days or less is a very strong market. So one month absorption, that is very, very strong market. Um, when we get up to 12 to 15 months, that's a slower market. In Park City right now, we're probably hovering about four to five months. However, it depends on neighborhoods and condo projects because one neighborhood might have a 15-day supply of, of homes because they're selling so quickly. Another, say a ski condo in the middle of summer, might have a nine-month supply. So it really depends. We can give you average numbers, but specific neighborhoods will, have, will sell quicker than other neighborhoods, and that's an important factor to take into account, especially if you're trying to buy in a neighborhood that has a very um, low supply. And in fact, we've done some, uh, some recent uh, videos on that particular subject, Jeremy, and you can go back and look at those, and we name places such as Trailside and Silver Springs and so on as having very, very low absorption rates right now. Yeah, and right now in the marketplace, general broad, the demand is much higher than the supply, so that's is why prices are pushing up. Still great deals out there, and interest rates are low, so um, it's just a bit more competitive to get the property. And the market has turned up. All right, number four, evaluate the inventory of acceptable property choices. So this is an important step, and this is um, where you can utilize the website to keep track of our overall inventory that meets your criteria. Uh, we can help you determine which properties are acceptable. One of the things we like to do is look at properties as if they are A, B, C, or D properties. An A property would have a great location, be in great condition, have a great price on it, and we would expect it to sell extremely quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, a D property might have uh, functional obsolescence issues or other location issues and might be priced incorrectly. Mm -hmm. So when we see A properties, it's very important for you to act on those right away or, or contact us right away because they're going to sell very quickly. Yeah, that's true. And when you have a list of properties, and if you have you know a few properties that you'd be willing to buy, or they're acceptable properties, this actually gives you more negotiating leverage because you can actually um, you can you can let the sellers know, hey, we're negotiating a couple other properties, so we want you to come back strong, or we're going to buy another property. So uh, that helps your negotiating position. Likewise, if you find one property and that's the property you've been looking and that's your dream property, you want to buy it. You may want to offer close to list price or possibly at list price if it's in one of those neighborhoods, the fast absorption rate because you might lose it because everything is moving so quickly. Right? A typical example for us, Jeremy, is recently I had clients that are long-term Park Cityites and they wanted to buy in Silver Springs, which we've talked about in our previous webinars as being extremely uh, a hot area right now. And uh, that property was on the market for about three days, four days, and there was about three offers coming in on it. And we paid just slightly over asking price, tied the property up immediately, and we closed it very quickly, and my buyers are extremely happy because it was the exact property they wanted. Mm -hmm. So we want to help you identify what those A-type properties are for you and help you get in those properties at the best possible price. Definitely. All right. Last one, number five, is days on market. Um, this is pretty, pretty obvious, but this determines how long desired property has been on the market since the day it was listed till the day it goes under contract and comes off the market. We would expect, as we mentioned earlier, an A-type property, Jeremy, to not last 30 days in this market. And I think that's been your experience. You've had offers, too, with the same issue. Is that correct? Yeah, I, had a, um, I have some buyers that I've been working for for many months determine the area they want to buy in. Property came on the market, first day, got three offers. We went to a highest and best, and we actually ended up paying 14000 above list price. However, it appraised for 20000 more than what we were paying for. So, uh, clients are happy, got the property, scheduled to close on that soon. So, uh, it's you just got to be quick on the draw right now if you're looking for that A property. And oftentimes we can find properties where uh, the price has scared other buyers away. And typically these are properties that may be on the market for more than 30 days. And so it's not um, uncommon for us to still show you those properties 
And we find that oftentimes sellers are just waiting for an offer before they're going to show their negotiating hand. Mm -hmm. And we can often talk to the other agents and find out if there's flexibility or not. And so we would advise you to just talk to us about that because oftentimes sellers are waiting for that very first offer and they won't make a price reduction that probably is, is needed, but they will respond to a, a first offer and, and, and possibly you can counter it or get it accepted at a price that's acceptable to you at a, a very good price. Yeah, and sometimes when the price is listed higher and you begin negotiating, you don't have the stress of an outside buyer coming in to put an offer in because it's listed too high, but then through negotiations, you may be able to negotiate and get it for you know, market value slightly below and you don't have competition from another buyer. So if it's priced high, don't be scared to put in an offer you know, where a fair market value would be or slightly below for negotiating room because you might get it there and you don't have to worry about another buyer. Our goal is to get you the property that you want at the best possible price and there's different ways that we can approach that. So if you work with us, we can tell you what we think is the best way to achieve that goal. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's talk uh, just before we leave here about oftentimes if you're on our website, which is right here, uh, if you'll also pick up price reductions on that website. Yeah. And so you'll be notified immediately if there's a price reduction. We may have a property that is 10% over the market and not garnering much activity and the seller will reduce that price into the 3 to 5% range of where it should actually be listed at. That would make it possibly an A or a B type property mm -hmm. that would immediately garner your interest. And we would like you to be aware that if you track that on your search engine on this website here, View Park City Real Estate, you may be one of the first ones to know about that price reduction. Good stuff, Ed. All right. So as always, if you have questions, email us your questions at at thewillsteinteam.com or the better looking guy, Jeremy at thewillsteinteam.com <laughs> and we'll happy to answer them as quickly as possible. So thank you for watching our webinar uh, from Park City. I'm Jeremy Wilstein, the young guy. And I'm Ed Knapp, the old guy. And thank you for joining us. Go Jeremy, go. <laughs> Very good. <laughs>